Hi everyone, I'm Nettie Kay. Welcome back to my studio. Some of you are really having a hard time with ellipses and getting them right. So I thought I'd give you a couple of pointers here to show you how to do it and do it easily. I've got this uh, colander, which you might be putting in your, uh, your still life paintings, uh, something with a round top or a teacup or something like that, a vessel with a circle on top. Now, if I'm looking at it straight ahead, I don't see anything, right? I don't see the back of the, the bowl at all or the vessel at all. But if I begin to tip that forward or I change my point of view, if I'm sitting up over it slightly, you see how it changes into an ellipse right here, okay? I can now see part of the back of the, the colander and then more and more as I get higher over the top of it. It's kind of hard to demonstrate, but I'll show you here in just a second. It's a better um, painting if you have just some of the ellipse showing. All right, some of the ellipse not, you know, just flat, that's boring. All right, so I'm gonna move over here to my chalkboard and give you a special way to figure that out. Okay, chalkboard time. I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna look at my subject and I'm gonna say, okay, how much do I see? And then I'm gonna close one eye and measure it with my finger, the back to the front and just say, all right, how much do I really see of that, all right? And then I put in a line. I put in a line like this and say, well, all right, the top to the bottom is roughly about there. And then, is that straight up and down? Yes. And then I'll put a little mark out here. And I see how wide the subject is. Then I'll put a line at the top and a line at the bottom. And I begin to curve this around and curve it before you hit to the, this line because you don't want it to look like a football. And curve it and then curve it around and hit this line and then curve it till you hit this line and then come back like this. Then you have an ellipse. You can make them any size. So you can make it a teeny tiny thing that's got a big wide thing and you just curve it around like this and you make it really, really skinny. That's kind of messy, but you get the idea. All right, and then you add your, the bottom of your colander or your cup or whatever you do, and then you can figure it out, all right? I hope that helped you today. Let me know, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.